Hi friends, welcome back to Affordable Practical Living. I'm Nicole. I have 75 pounds worth of onions, 25 of the red onions, and 50 pounds of white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through them first and make sure they're good to go. Some of them I'm gonna keep in the fridge, some will be outside, and some I'm gonna have to dice up and freeze. And then hopefully there's none that actually I have to get rid of, but we will see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go around and fill it. This one feels soft in a few spots. I'm gonna put this in the cut bin. This one feels decent. This is gonna go in the store outside bin. You're just going through and you're feeling if there's any soft spots. I do feel a couple soft spots in that one. This one's nice and sturdy. Try not to remove all of it. This one's sturdy. We do go through a lot of onions. See, this one has a little bit of spots on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open now just to see if it's salvageable. I should have my cutting board over here. Yes, that's fine. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just sorting them out, filling for any soft spots. This one's gonna be cut. I'll go ahead and cut this one. Most of these red onions were actually really good quality. Even though there were some soft spots, I was able to either cut it out or it was fine once I did cut it open. We ended up using these red onions for quite some time and I was very happy with the 25 pound bag that I got um, them for. I paid $10 for the 25 pounds and you can't beat that price. Red onions are very uh, pricey at the store compared to the other ones. And I was just grateful that I was able to come across this wonderful deal. This is a couple days process here. I'm not gonna be cutting all of this today because um, I've been doing yard work all morning, which and cleaning off my patio and whatever. I still have so many onions to go through. But what I am gonna do is move these out of the way. Some of them I have to cut up today. But I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do some of these other ones. To keep an onion a little longer, these are the ones that are good, in good shape, we're not cutting up. We're gonna wrap them in paper towel. And we're gonna store these bottom side down in the crisp. It's been several weeks since I've done these and I still have onions in the crisper that are nice and good to go as soon as I need them. So this actually works very well as long as your crisper is at the right temp. Okay, so I've got a good amount of four, five, six, seven ones that I'm gonna keep out. I'm just storing them in my bin. I'm gonna keep that under my kitchen island here. And then these I'm gonna put in the fridge and then I'm gonna start dicing up and cutting up the others. I'm actually gonna cut them into two different ways. I'll show you just in a minute. That one would have been perfect storage except it has a little spot on it cut that uh, this is perfect this is oh i'm not sure i'm gonna place that one down in my bin 
I ended up having a little bit more problems with the white onions than I did with the red onions. There was just a little bit more spoilage, but I was cutting it out and I still had plenty that I could save. I lost all the video of me doing this cutting session and ended up one week later with the rest of the white onions. Here we go with that. This is from Salvageable. Thanks, so. No. It's gone. Get another bag out. Gross. Gross. Let's I'm not sure how many of these onions went bad prior to me buying them or how many of them went bad because it took me a week to get to the last portion of the ones on the bottom of the bag. This was 50 pounds of white onions and I got them for $15 for the 50 pounds. So I did end up with quite a bit that were good in the first session. Um, you saw me picking some that we're going to go in the crisper and those are still fine. We are using the ones that I ended up dicing up here and putting in the fridge. I have been using the red ones as much as I can first just because red onions cost more and it would be more of a waste for them to go quicker but um, these ones are perfectly fine. I've been using them for all kinds of recipes. They're delicious. I just wish I'd been able to save more.